Hello my name is Chintan and in this video today we are going to look how we can model this cool parametric looking event inside of SketchUp so let's take a look at how we can model this inside of SketchUp let's go okay so open up SketchUp and then make a rectangle of size 9 feet comma 18 inches that is 9 feet and half one and a half feet after you have this give it a thickness of 18 inches now this will be the size of our bench after that select everything and make it a group now edit this group and then from the midpoint of this line segment to this line segment draw a line then use the move tool the shortcut for which is m and then make a copy of it at 18 inches on this side and 18 inches on this side as well after that bring on the Bezier toolbar that is and click on this tool that says draw classic Bezier curve and then draw a classic Bezier curve from this point to this point like this after that draw a line from this point to this point and then may rotate a copy of this and then type 3x to make three copies so that we have this now you can delete these nine segments and if you explode this you need to delete all these surfaces so that you are left with something that looks like this now close this toolbar and bring on the curvy lock plugin and click on this tool that says lock by spline and then click on the first curve and on the second curve and then click on the small check mark now change the spline method to junction by connected lines and number of segments to 10 after that you have this surface now this is reverse to so simply reverse it and then rotate three more copies of this like this now make this a group and after deleting this line segment make this a group as well now select this make it a group let everything explode it inside the group and then now you have this basic shape now edit this group and extrude it by 18 inches like this and after that offset this face by an inch like this and push it down by 2 inches we have this part and this part separate now we just need to make the base so first let's select everything and make it a group and then let's make a rectangle like this and make that a group now make it an inch thick now make a rectangle on top of it of let's say 6 inches by 18 inches that a group and move it inside by 18 inches after that give it a thickness of an inch like this now select this face and make another face and push it outside by an inch like this and simply push it down by two inches like this now on the other side hit control if you hit control with the push pull tool it will make another face one inch and then push it down by two inches like this now once you have this make a copy of it from this point to this point now make these three a group and then simply flip them i have a shortcut alt plus the up arrow to flip on, along the blue axis and then move it down like this now our bench is almost ready so just we need to add a plant to select this or any plant that you want to place and place it like this and you can close this and if you turn on the shadows and turn off axis so this is how our bench basically looks so i hope you learned something valuable in this video if you did please 
consider liking and subscribing to the channel liking the video subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts you can leave them in the comments or you can join our discord server till then keep creating i would see you in the next video bye